Hello everyone, my name is Dorian and welcome to Hockenheim. We are with the F3 doing a track guide. So I'm just going to show you guys a lap real quick and then we're going to take it corner by corner. I'm using the fix setup. It works brilliantly. I love the fix series here. So it's going to be a lot of fun this week. I hope you guys will enjoy it. If you do, leave a like and if you want to see more of it, subscribe to the channel. Let's get on track. Okay, so we're coming up to turn number one. Now, we're gonna use the outside curb to maximize our approach. It really does give you a lot. So you can see I'm mounting it. I got left tires all the way across it, almost half the car. And I'm gonna start turning in right before the 50. And as I do, I'm gonna lift the throttle up and basically kind of be neutral all the way into the curb. You wanna be as close to the sausage curb without going over it. And I'm going to start accelerating right before the apex, pretty, pretty strongly, pretty uh, aggressively, all the way back to 100%. Open up the wheels as I reach this curb on the outside, using it, abuse it as much as you can without getting off track. You can use even a little bit more. The one thing you want to remember is return to the track quickly. To make sure you don't get an off track. If you put your left tires here, that would be an off track. Now, setting ourselves up nicely for the next corner, turn number two. So we're going to break right before the 100. Uh, you have this access route that that's a good indication for you peaking to around 80 percent very heartbreaking point releasing gradually stabilizing around 50 and then as i put it in second gear just now i'm going to start rotating the car so quite late trying to keep this corner as open as possible already lost the back end a little bit had to correct it had to let off the brakes and as soon as i'm on this curb on to the right here i'm going to start accelerating quite smoothly so to 50 percent open up the wheel and then back to 100 let the car wash out you can use the track here it's not a problem because the exit is just too easy for this car so it's really a non-issue you don't have to stay on the rubber and that's going to take us to the next corner where we're just going to stick to the inside here give us a nice short route uh, it's it's almost a tenth to just hug it the whole way through on the inside. Again, breaking right before the 100, right around here, peaking around 80%, staying on 50 for a long time, downshifting all the way into, into first gear. And you'll notice I'm not using this curb on the outside to uh, give myself a wider approach here. That's because uh, it seems to cause the car to lock up. So that's a bit of a problem i'm trying to avoid it be as close to it as you can as you can see i'm, I'm only starting to turn in quite late here i'm going to keep this corner nice and open for a late apex in the first gear and just i don't want to clip this inside curb too much as well i want to keep my front right right around here this sort of area and as i open up the wheel back on the power 50 percent waiting on it a little bit don't want to kick the back end out here. You have such a huge straight coming up. As I open it fully on the power, using the curb on the way out, and you're through. Now, nice, easy line here, just taking short route. And we're going to break right before this curb ends. So right on the last white square right here. 
I'm gonna start braking 50%. Really don't want to burn up the front tires here, so you don't brake too harsh. Uh, if you brake too harshly, it's gonna be a problem. Uh, yeah, so 50% for the duration as I turn in the car right around here. Downshifting all the way into second gear, trail braking into the curb, and right around here is when I'm released the brakes altogether. As I can see, I'm about to mount the sausage curb. I'm gonna let the car wash out just a little bit so I don't touch it. And going back to the power, nice and gradually, 50%. Then open up the wheel back to 100%. And you really want to be very smooth here. Turn in late for the right-hander. Don't turn in too early because that will give you a surprising amount of time. Especially if you avoid touching this outside curb here. It does suck you out a little bit and kind of compromises your straight line speed. Now we're going to use all of the track for this one. And we're going to start to turn in right before this light post. It's kind of hard to spot. You're going to have to look to the right here. But we're going to turn in right at this point. You can see I'm still flat out. And as I turn in more and more, I'm going to release the throttle, let the car rotate. Try to get an early apex here because the curb does rotate the car. So as I cross it and put my right side of the car about halfway through it, be back on the power almost to 100%. And now committed, fully committed to 100%, letting the car wash out. I even had a little bit of over-rotation, had to catch it and return to the track. I find it, uh, it's, I don't find it useful to go all the way to the outside here. It's kind of, uh, you know, pointless. The car gets too upset, so you want to stay on the inside, take a shorter route. Now here, we're going to start braking, I would say, at the 60 mark, something like that, right around here. And again, you don't want to peak high. It's very important to maintain the front tires here. 50% pressure, downshifting all the way into third gear. We're still in third, still in third, still in third. And now into second. So a late second gear, a very late second gear. You can see I'm trail braking the whole way through. And from this point on, I let go of the brakes and I go back to the power. Around 50%, staying on for the duration, hugging this curb on the inside, you don't want to go over it. It does seem to upset the car a little bit too much for me. And just squeezing the throttle on the way out. Had a little bit of a moment here with the oversteer, but managed to catch it in time so I don't lose too much time, don't scrub off too much time here. And you want to take advantage of this outside curb, but you want to make sure the left uh, side of the car is on the road, is on the tarmac. That's going to maintain stability. If you go all the way across it, it's just going to bounce too much. You're going to lose, you're going to lose speed. Hugging this curb on the end side, and I'm, I'm not going to clip this one. I want to open up the next corner. I'm already thinking about this part. So I want to open this part up as much as I can. Stay in fourth gear. So right around here, I'm going to start trail braking. So I'm not really peaking the brakes at all. I'm just trail braking for the duration, trying to find this apex. And as I do, I go back to the power, let the car wash out, and taking the car to the outside here. And again, as I want to turn in the car, I want to lift again. This is all in fourth gear. You can try to take it in third, find fourth gear a little more stable, carry more speed on entry, and gain a lot of time from it. So a lot of modulation here. You can see the car wants to over-rotate, lifting off the throttle, correcting the slide, then going back. To my in normal inputs let the car go all the way to the outside use this outside curb that is very useful if you if you want to carry as much speed for the main straight here and that's it that's gonna give us a 131 flat pretty much so i hope you guys enjoyed this track guide if you did please leave a like and if you want to see more of these track guides let me know in the comments and uh yeah i'll see you in the next video subscribe to the channel all those good things bye bye